Hello everyone, welcome to our online class. Standard 7 Subject Science Lesson number 11, Cell Structure and Microorganism Part 2 We had learned that there are countless living organisms on the earth. Of this, the organism which cannot be seen with our eyes but can only be observed under a microscope are called microorganisms. What are microorganisms? The living organisms on the earth which are all around us but we are unable to see them are called microorganisms. They can be seen only under compound microscope. Microorganisms are present all around us in the air, water, soil, food, sewage, garbage as well as in the bodies of plants and animals, including humans. Some microorganisms are solitary. That is, they live singly. Example, amoeba, paramecium, whereas some, some microorganisms live on the remains of dead plants and animals. Growth of microorganism. Each microorganism needs a specific environment for growth and reproduction. Many microbes need oxygen for their growth, whereas some microbes can grow without oxygen. Some microorganisms survive if even in extreme and adverse conditions like the ocean floor, ice in polar regions, hot water springs, etc. During adverse conditions, microorganisms form a thick covering around themselves and stop their life processes. On return of favorable conditions, they come out of the protective covering and continue their life processes. Microorganisms are of two types. Unicellular organism and multicellular organism. Nature of microorganism. Microorganisms are prokaryotic cell. It lack membrane bond cell organelles. It has only plasma membrane, cytoplasm, and nucleoid. Unicellular microorganism. Microorganism having a single cell, example bacteria and virus. Multicellular microorganism. Microorganism having many cells, example fungus and algae. Some microorganisms like fungus that grow on bread or strands of algae in the ponds are multicellular. However, most microorganisms such as bacteria and viruses are unicellular. They have a somewhat different cellular structure. They do not have membrane bond organelles found in eukaryotic cell. The plasma membrane Cytoplasm and nucleoid are their only components. Such cells are called prokaryotic cell. Classification of microorganism. Microorganisms are broadly classified into algae, fungi, protozoa, bacteria, and viruses. This classification is based on the shape and life processes. Useful microorganisms. Some microorganisms carry out decomposing of waste and convert it into fertilizer. Farm waste, human excreta, wet garbage, etc. is used in a biogas plant to produce biogas and fertilizer with the help of microbes. Sewage is also treated with microbes for quick decomposition of the organic compounds in it. Microbes thus keep the environment clean by decomposition process. Microorganisms in the soil, root nodules of leguminous plants convert atmospheric nitrogen into its compounds. Due to them, soil fertility increases and the protein content of the pulses also increases. Microbes produce milk product like curd, butter, buttermilk, cheese, paneer, etc. from the milk. Processes like tanning of skin, production of ropes and strings from agave are done with the help of microbes. With the help of process of bacterial fermentation, alcohol from grains and fruits, bread from flour, as well as production of acetic acid, citric acid, lactic acid, vitamins, antibiotics, etc. are produced. Microbes are used in removing a layer of soil slick floating in ocean or lake. Such oil slicks are fallen due to accidental spillage. Swachh Bharat Abhiyan Due to uncleanliness, almost 80% of all diseases occur. 
some easy ways to stop the spread of diseases keeping our surrounding clean avoiding litter disposing garbage properly def avoiding defecation in the open increase awareness about public hygiene and habits of personal hygiene the swachh bharat abhiyan movement has started it is a national movement for protecting our health through cleanliness let us participate in this movement by starting a cleanliness drive in our school and neighborhood food poisoning when some microbes grow in the food they produce toxic compound called enterotoxin this toxin makes the food poisonous if such spoiled food is consumed it results in vomiting and loose motions a round layer of white scums or black particles on the food is an indication of fungal growth it grows quickly on the moist and the stale food fermentation fermentation is a chemical process of conversion of a carbon compound into its another type by the action of microorganism during the process of fermentation heat some gases and carbon dioxide are evolved in the process in the process of fermentation the volume of material rises thus this reaction is used in the production of various common food stuff example the flour is fermented to produce bread batter of idli and dosa dough fruit juice etc microbial process is used this enables production of new compounds as the antibiotics and vaccines antibiotics cure diseases like tuberculosis typhoid cholera etc domestic animals are also given antibiotic treatments against various diseases plants diseases are controlled with the help of antibiotics a vaccine that gives immunity against a particular disease is also produced with the help of microbes in a laboratory fever The normal body temperature is about 37 degrees Celsius in human beings. Upon infection by microorganism, our immune system starts raising the body temperature to destroy this microorganism. At the site of an injury, the temperature rises as a, as a defense mechanism. Pathogen. This is producing microorganism. Pathogens are present in water bodies contaminated with sewage and dirt. They are also in the food left uncovered in unhygienic conditions. The food contaminated with house flies or contaminated water or contaminated water is consumed can cause various diseases of the alimentary canals like typhoid, cholera, hepatitis, gastro, etc. When a patient having an infectious of the respiratory tract sneeze or cough many pathogens are released in the air a healthy person contracts such infectious through pathogens when there are heaps of garbage drains stagnant water etc mosquito gets a breeding ground though the bite of a female mosquito different types of microbes enter the body classification of microorganism Microorganisms are broadly classified into algae, fungi, protozoa, bacteria and viruses. This classification is based on the shape and the life processes. Observation and measurement of microorganism. Try this. Keep a moist pieces of bread or bakri in a closed box. Observe it after 3 to 4 days using a magnifying lens observe a drop of muddy water or water from a stagnant puddle under the compound microscope take a drop of yogurt or butter milk on a glass slide and observe it under a compound microscope do you know we cannot see objects smaller than 100 micrometer in size with our eyes so we make glass slides of microorganisms and observe them under a compound microscope However, if a magnification of thousand into proves to be insufficient, then we need to use an electron microscope to observe those microorganisms. Size of some microbes: Paramecium, about hundred micrometers; Bacteria of typhoid, one to three micrometers; Polio virus, twenty-eight nanometers. Microbes measure less than hundred micrometers. Even in this minute organism, the organelles carry out all life processes within the single cell. Care of food. 
Always eat fresh and properly covered food. Always drink clean and boiled water. Cover your mouth and nose when you cough or sneeze. Keep surrounding clean by not allowing garbage and water to accumulate around your house. Harmful microorganism. If jars of pickles, jams, murabba, etc. are opened up after a long time, a round layer of white scum or black particles may appear to have formed on the surface. In summer, milk and meat get spoiled quickly. Fungus grows quickly on moist and stale food. As they use foodstuff for their own nutrition, some microbes release toxic materials into the food. Such toxics spoil the food. Eating such spoiled food can cause loose motion and vomiting. So, we had completed our lesson number 11, Cell Structure and Microorganism. Thank you.